Is that going? Can anyone see me? Ooh. Is it showing up for you guys? Is it showing? Because my preview screen is black. Fabulous. It is. Okay, cool. Cause I I don't I don't see anything, but that's okay. Hello everyone. Yay! My sound works and the camera looks good and y'all can see everything that I'm doing. Cool. Awesome. Well welcome to my first live stream on YouTube. Cosplay one. I am going to be working on my Nidalee cosplay for a little bit. This way it'll keep me um motivated and I'll keep working on it. So Yes. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yes, no music on the stream. YouTube will copyright strike me. That would be bad. So, yeah. So, what I'm doing right now is I have this heat knife that I changed the tip to. So this weird, funky looking one. And I'm going to actually engrave those lines that you see that I drew on here. We'll see how that goes if I don't set on fire. Which would be hilarious and bad at the same time. turned out a lot better than I thought. Who's on fire? Yes, uh, delicious Damien Nelly from League. Hello, Angius and Echo the Bat Pony. And who else is in here? Cool. Welcome to my first YouTube stream. Um, nom, 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 nom. So this thing's a lot hotter than I thought, Fab. It's okay, at least you're here. I'm gonna move my mouse over here because my laptop's on the other side of this monitor and it is really, really, really annoying. Yes, Dandy Echo, yes, I do as you when she told me that you would only be here for a little bit. See? Well, what? It's burning it. That's crazy as hell. So yeah, this is for a convention that's like next weekend, or yeah, because I'm slow, slowest cosplayer on this planet. You know it. It's probably not safe for me to actually burn this stuff. The shard, yes, that was probably was Drifter. He was probably using the bathroom. Ah, uh, yes, uh, Damien, they do have different skins in the game. Nidalee has a bunch of them. Um, let me see which one she has. Snow Bunny Nidalee. Um, Headhunter Nidalee, which is pretty cool. She's got like, kind of looks like the Predator. Uh, and then she's got the French Maid Nidalee, which is just utterly ridiculous and hilarious. What else does she have? She has a bunch of them. Oh, the, the Warring Kingdoms one, that new one that's really cool. I might do that one. But this is just her normal skin. It's like, ah, 
I'm trying to get this perfect, but then again, she like carved the spear with her bare hands, so it wouldn't be pretty, would it? I don't know. Hello, Zandy Esports. How are you doing? Thanks for coming to the stream. Is the delay? Oh, is there a delay? Hmm, fabulous. We'll go ahead and, uh, you know. Hey, Heartbreaker, what's up? Yes, Echo, I know. They have a bunch of silly uh, skins, like, you know, like Battle Bunny. What's her name? The Battle Bunny Fiora? Maybe not Fiora. What is her name? Crap. I can't remember. My brain died. I already got people in here doing like stupid. Well, I don't care. Go ahead. You have pants on. Okay. <laughs> It's going to do something to help your quality a little bit, because I'm watching on my end. Okay. Someone yeah. said there's like a delay. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of delay, but we're going to put this oops, over here. Uh -huh. So when you look at the chat, you're looking at the camera. Uh -huh. And you're going to slightly reposition the camera. Like this. Mm -hmm. so you can see more of Jessica. I think that's going to make it look a lot better. Small change, but I think it's going to help. Okay, cool, thanks. Hello, Encrypted, what's up? Ooh. Eh, okay. Hello, Jesus Vi. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to be careful. I don't, I've never really burned myself. I said it now, I'm going to burn myself on stream, and y'all get to see it live. going a lot better than expected. Okay, so like, I've actually never done this before, ha! Huh? <laughs> Hello, B Pitch Phobe. I'm Zandy Esports. It is Nidalee from uh, League of Legends. She has a giant spear. So right now I'm carving the little thing she has in it. I could do music on here. I guess I could do royalty free music, but eh, you never know. YouTube's a thing. But. the real deal what's up well thank you I also post a bunch of my stuff on Instagram to to real deal if you I think it's in the in my description down there if you want to all my other stuff you get to follow
You know, I probably should have something that actually scraped this on. This is actually not my crafting desk. This is my, like, laptop office desk. I just drug everything in here because my craft room looks like hell right now. You don't want to see it. You would be like, oh my god, this woman must be a hoarder. Because I kind of am. Uh, let's see here. I might have to move my mic. Because it's like on the other side of me. Hello, Beastie Beast. What is this? It is a a spearhead. Here, I'm trying to get in camera. And I'm trying to carve these little uh, designs in it with my heat knife with the different tip. Oh, hello, Drift Tour. Let me make you a mod, Brad. Ah, I'm gonna burn myself. How do I make mod? How do I make mod? Fit you as a drift. Maybe that works. Okay, cool. Yes, Damien. It's actually the desk of it is like piled like like super high with just like a bunch of crap. It's never clean. It's only been clean maybe a few times, but it only stays clean for about like a day or two. Because I just follow everything on there. But I know where everything is. Kind of. Maybe. Hopefully. Yes, real deal. It is Jessica. You can call me Jessica or J-Wo or... That's about it. <laughs> well, thank you, Angio, for the tweet. And Heartbreaker, thanks for liking the stream. It's never over, huh? y'all can like actually see the smoke coming from this. It's actually a little bit crazy. deal how often do I stream um oh well this is my first YouTube stream but I hope to do it you know once a week um this coming week is a convention so I'll probably stream during the weekday instead because the convention's uh like Friday Saturday Sunday and Monday so I won't be able to stream on the weekend maybe I'll stream it like on Wednesday or something I don't know we'll see. at that point it'll be like cosplay crunch time so you get to see me like freak out Hello, Jesus Vi, I am making, this is, I'm carving designs into this spearhead that Nelly carries. I have the staff already, it's like a tree branch I found in someone's yard. Oh uh, no, no, Vi, he is not going to cosplay anytime soon. I told him he should like cosplay as a character with a covered face so no one will know who he is or something, you know? Yes, the soldering smoke. Actually, okay, I'll let you guys know if you ever plan on doing this, this is actually really bad. <laughs> like the smoke, if, when you're burning foam or heating up foam, especially EVA foam, it's really bad. It's supposed to have pretty open air. I have my air conditioning running and stuff, so that's fine. But when I'm on, t when I'm doing it and the smoke comes out, I don't breathe. 
I'm not breathing when I do this. <laughs> My overheater, Green Jose H. Well, thank you, Real Deal. I will, all the streams, I usually do post them on Twitter, you know, when I go live. I'll do it on my Twitter and my Facebook. I probably should do it on my Instagram, but I'm too lazy. You have to get it on my phone and like, oh, that's so hard. I hate that I can't post pictures on Instagram from the computer. I'm not really a mobile phone person. I use it to text, and I use it to take pictures of my dog, and that's about it. <laughs> oh, that's right, he could be a Ninja Turtle. Actually, I just bought him something with Ninja Turtles on it today. Welcome back, Angio. Hello, Atomic Toast 15. What's up? Uh, Jesus Vibe, I am going to Anime Fest next weekend. That's my next con. It's in Dallas. So if anyone's in the Dallas area and they're going, you should come and find me. I hope to be going all the days. I'm actually thinking about entering like the hallway cosplay contest. I don't know. I've never entered really like an actual cosplay contest. I don't really like the hallway one. I don't think I actually have to um, go on stage or anything, so that's fine. I don't like going on stage and doing stuff. That's just awkward for me. How long have I been crafting? Um, oh my, it's been a long time. So probably since I was really little. Like, as long as I can remember, I love crafting. My mom really encouraged it, so. I just like making things. I got out of it for a while because you know like you know people go through that stage it's like oh handmade stuff is like for poor people and it's weird and I like my I'll be like uncool in school if I have handmade things that was probably like late elementary junior high and then after I got to high school I was like whatever I'm making stuff again Uh, Jesus, I, uh, yes, I do watch anime. Uh, the one we just finished watching, me and Drifter, we were watching, uh, The Devil is a Part-Timer, where it is pretty funny, where the devil is, like, working at McDonald's. It just cracks me up. It, it's just, like, the way they dubbed it, it, it just cracked me up. They did a really good job on it. Do I want any anime? Well, I don't know. I mean, sure, I guess. I need to finish watching the second season of Sailor Moon Crystal. I might do that tonight. Maybe. I don't know. I might stay up super late and just work on cosplay. Ooh, this spackling does not burn very well. Um... Overheat, yeah, it shouldn't be. I mean, I think it's an actual, like, downtown Dallas. 
I think. Is it the Sheraton in Dallas? So, yeah. Subs, not dubs. I like dubs. I'm one of those weird anime people that like dubs. I grew up on dub anime. I'm real picky about it, though. It has to be dubbed well. It's probably why I couldn't watch the Bleach anime, because it was just dubbed terribly. Brogycon, oh gosh. Choji from Naruto. <laughs> I've been on stage once with cosplay, and that was like at the riot base attacks, and that was enough for me. Ooh, terrifying. can see no nah, I don't think you can really see my figurines in the background my hands aren't out of the way you can kind of see them in the corner my figurine collection Right, EVA fall, near the best, all these little dips in it. Ugh, uneven. It cuts terribly too. But A is cheap, whatever. I have like a, I think a sheet left of it. But then I bought a giant roll of, um, was it 2000? I don't know, what is it? I can't remember the name, remember the name of the phone, but it's like, it's smooth actually on both sides because you can see on the inside of this, there's like bumps. Bumps. You still scarred by the uh, actually I think I did watch the sub one when it first came out. Yeah, I knew my friends watched it. Did I I think I think I did watch the dub one. It wasn't too bad. But like I can't watch it after a certain point. I can't spoil it for you guys. If you haven't watched it yet, because you know, things happen. Um, Echo, Sailor Moon was very popular actually when I was little. It will, it's actually more popular now because it's the 20th anniversary and they're bringing back, they remade it and they're bringing back all the merchandise and stuff because like the audience that watched it back in the day is now adults and we have money to afford buying all these things. So yes, it is, it's a little bit, I think it's actually more popular now than it was back then. Yes, hello, Joel Lopez. Yes, this is for Nidalee. This is the uh, spear. I'm carving the designs and I'm directly heat burning them, really. Oh, goodness. <coughs> All right, we're all deal. See you later. Thanks for watching. Growing up in Greece, you got shows super late. I remember back in the day when, you know, anime would come over here super late. Stuff would have come out already like a year or two ago, and and then we would just get the dub versions. It was going to take forever. Let's see here. So my mouse will work. All right. Uh, Oh, what's going on on my Twitter? Things. Well, oh, thank you, Real Deal, over here in the tweets. Yeah, back to work. Which one on Adult Swim? 
My first anime, uh, Damien, that would have to be Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> that was my first one. I remember, like, my brother actually got, like, the... I don't know where he got it from, but he got the, uh, unedited, like, dubs. They were still, like, had all the stuff in it that they don't have in the, uh, Cartoon Network version. Like, you know, Bulma and her, like, panties and stuff running around and crap. I didn't really like Evangelion. I did like Cowboy Bebop and Iyasha. After a certain point, I was like, I can't do this anymore. Y'all gotta get that crystal and like defeat Moroku because it's taking y'all forever. Hmm. Yes. I'm constantly watching your stream. Do you mind if I interrupt again? What's going on? Okay, I'm gonna try to get better quality. What's the off button on this one? Is it like down here? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna turn it off. And we're around the monitor. Now, we're gonna put it in front of you so we get better audio quality. Yeah, I, I was gonna do that. I'm also trying not to unplug it because it has a tendency to unplug itself. Yes. That one. Block it. Putting it here would probably make it better audio quality. Sorry, guys. Just the suggestion. And. Ta da! There you go. It's not blocking anything now. There you go. That should help. Cool. Thanks. Oh, sweet. Echo, yes, I love Cyborg 009. Oh my goodness, me and my little brother watch that one all the time. Of course, it's been so long, I barely remember what it's about. I just remember, like, that they were, it seemed like they were too lazy to draw two eyes, so they always had a guy with the hair, like, in front, like, I'm a robot. Cool. Cowboy Bebop doesn't make sense to you. It's, it's great. It's, ah. I don't know, what are you confused about it? <laughs> Oh wow, they had the tapes where it makes the whole picture. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yes. But he's using that engineering degree. Yeah, I never really got into it. Um, I liked it. No, I didn't really like I I watched a few episodes of Evangelion, and um, eh, I don't know. I didn't really like it. It's kind of like, I didn't really like, like, like the futuristic mech animes a lot. Like, I like the space ones. Like, how would be about That's fine. I didn't really have mechs, but I guess because Cowboy would be about is really was is similar to like Firefly. Actually is very similar to Firefly. <laughs> Oh yes, I, I did watch all of the Avatar, the first one. I actually haven't watched any of the Legend of Korra one. I need to watch it. It looks really good. Hey! Hey, Evolveness or Tiftard, what's what's up? Thanks for coming to the stream. Let's see. Will I be making using shark teeth? Oh no, I'm making my own. If I get done with this, I will actually go towards the uh, making the teeth. I couldn't watch um, Nar Naruto, Naruto, whatever. <laughs> I pronounce it different from everyone else. I just, I couldn't watch the dub. Oh, it was so bad. It was so bad. I could just only read the manga and that's it. Voices of a Distant Star. I think I watched that one. Oh my goodness. It's just, it's kind of, it's intense. Spanks. 
six thousand episode battle animes. Yeah, like Dragon Ball Z. You know, it does that. But it, it's entertaining. I don't. I I didn't watch past a certain point. I don't think I watched when like Gohan got like you know was like teenager or older. It just was kind of meh at that point. I do want to watch the new movie one at uh, DBZ Kai. Is that what it is? Oh, it was good. Oh yes, I love Digimon too, the old one. I, I actually kind of watched a little bit of the newer ones before it went off air. It didn't stay on air very long. It wasn't very popular. Um, yes, I love Digimon. Ooh, except I think I was watching Digimon the same exact time as um Pokemon. So it was like I had an internal struggle. I was like, but Digimon, they don't stay evolved like Pokemon do. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. It was weird. Yes, Tiftar, this is EVA foam. It's like those interlocking puzzle floor mats. <laughs> Ooh, DBZ abridged. I did watch Yu Gi Oh! too. Um, that was pretty good. I never did the card games, though. I never did, like, the Pokemon card games, and I never did Yu Gi Oh! card games. I'm just not really a card game person. I like collecting the cards because they're pretty. Battle of the Gods. Is that an anime, Heartbreaker? Pokemon better than Digimon. I don't know. Now that I've gotten older and I look back at it, I don't know. I really like both of them. Because, like, I would have to admit the Digimon were pretty badass looking, though. Okay, like Angel Omon and Angelmon. Oh my gosh, they were so cool. Ooh, smoky. Spackling is making things a little difficult. Burn, 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 burn. Wait, Battle of the Gods. Was that the one um, with the um, the thing that looks like Mewtwo that shows up? Is that the movie? Oh yeah, the BS label in the show. It's kind of like you know you play the card games. You're like, yeah, my. The monsters are gonna pop out and like be awesome. No, it's not quite like that. <laughs> no league talk. No, this is like all super old anime like nostalgia. Cause I know Damien and Heartbreaker. They'll go on forever about old animes. <laughs> the continuous spell card. Oh, hello, home dog. Is that a slice? Pizza slice? Yes, I played Mario Kart. Um, I played it, I think, in high school and a little bit in college with, like, roommates and stuff, and it was, like, it would just cause problems <laughs> with my sweet mates and roommates and, and noise disturbances in the dorm, so we had to stop playing that. Mario Kart and Mario Party. Oh, my God, those two. <laughs> if you want to make your friends your enemies... Joey Wheeler. Pokemon Midnight releases since 2010. Man, I haven't played Pokemon since Red and Blue. That's so old. I probably should bring those out again. I think I, did, I didn't even have like the actual... I didn't have a Game Boy Color. Or like, yeah, I had played them like as ROM on my computer that my brother had gotten. I think we, we when I first played it, they were still in Japanese. And badly translated. It was great. Oh, what kind of emoji is that? That looks crazy as anything. <laughs> oh, there's a ghost. Oof. 
That is crooked as anything. I gotta bring that. There we go. There. Yes, Heartbreaker, you do have that profile picture. <laughs> Again, you do. Yes, Angie, you can post a Joey Wheeler meme. <laughs> That's true. I like whatever he was always like. What did he pull out all the time? Was he the one with the magician girl or the blue-eyed blue-eyed white dragon? I can't remember. I just remember Yu-Gi-Oh having like hilarious hair and then um was it Kaiba? Kaiba and his little angry emo self. But Tiff time, you should cosplay. But just go submit to your urges to cosplay. We should do it for PAX East next year. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Brian. What's up? I am doing cosplay things. Hello, Toxic Taco. This is, yes, this is where the Sunday night party is. Cosplay workshop with J-Wo. Yo. Poof. Ugh. Anime Boston. Oh, I can't post links? Oh, okay. You don't know what the cosplay? I don't know. Whatever you want. I've never been to Anime Boston. A bunch of my friends that I met at PAX East went this past year. Okay, Toxic Taco. He's activated my trap card. Ho ho ho, a trap. Oh my gosh, that show. It just cracked me up. It's like, this game is from ancient Egypt. The ancient Egyptians used to play it. Why? It is just so silly. Hello, Michael Cardiel. The burning is so satisfying to watch. It's actually pretty nice. It's, it's pretty cool. Well, by throwing a spirit drifter. Um, I threw the actual branch part, like, in the yard. It was actually pretty nice. Home dog pizza slice. Will I be doing more giveaways? Yes, I will probably be um, doing the 5,000, like, Facebook or Instagram one. Well, thank you. Making small projects just for events. Oh, I am like the slowest cosplay maker. Some people can just pump cosplays out. Like, they can make one a week and it's just really crazy. I'm like, man, you don't have too much time on your hands. <laughs> oh, no. Overheat. Your Game Boy fell in the toilet. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Hello, Toxic Taco. This is your other account. Welcome back. One side done. Hooray. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I'm actually impressed with how well this works. And my hands are not very steady today. What is that thing that Joey had? Is it the Karibo card? That fuzzy little thing? That thing was crazy. It always has some trick up its sleeve. Weevil. Who's Weevil? That sounds familiar. 
I probably know who he is. I just haven't seen him in forever. Well, thank you, Damien. Rex Raptor. Live action Yu-Gi-Oh movie? What? What? I don't even know how I feel about that. That just sounds crazy. That's right. Ciro Kaiba was like super rich, wasn't he? Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh had Karibo. Okay. The Bug Kid. Yes, him. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Weevil is a gun in Black Ops 3. I'm gonna move this over. Yeah, there we go. Think about buying a PS4? I, I don't know. That is your decision, but I will just have to say it probably works better on PS4. Animation never be made in live action. Like, I heard that the Attack on Titan live action movie they just came out with was bad. Like, they changed a lot in it. Like, bad. I don't I don't even know if I wanna watch it now. I'm like bleh. I just heard bad things about it. They had a Sailor Moon live action, but I was in Japan and it looked hilarious. last airbender movie oh my goodness i watched okay so i never watched it because i heard it was terrible so i accidentally watched it on tv one time like parts of it and i was like what am i watching what is this movie is this like a terrible made for tv movie i was like this is not a made for tv movie oh god it looked that bad yes echo it does get really weird in the mangas but it's really good though i i need to catch up on my chapters I read like a, most of it on the way on the flight to Japan. I'm sure everyone that was near me was like, "What the hell is this girl reading?" Because there's people getting eaten. You learned about Attack on Titan from a ten-year-old in the mall. Oh, Toxic Taco, I am making the spear for Nidalee, there's a character in League of Legends. She has like these little designs carved in it. Let me see, picture, picture, picture. I probably should have like a reference art so people know what I'm working on or something. Put that down. Ooh, the air conditioner's cutting on. <laughs> it stinks. I am not Shama Lama. I heard of the Attack on Titan, you know, because, okay, so it takes place in, like, futuristic Europe. And everyone is white. There's no Asian people left. And, um, it's like, okay, Japanese people, you could have hired some white white actors or something. I don't know. I like to keep too accurate to the manga characters. Where is it? There it is. A link in the description. I should. I don't know. Whoa! Look, it's reflecting the thingy. Ah, uh, zoom. 
zoom, 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 zoom. Focus. It's not focusing. Whatever. Hey, I only you only plays Kha'Zix. He's like, aww. Um, she's the one with the giant spear. She's like the Amazon lady that runs around. Her spear will fly, freaking fly across the map and hit anything. Yeah, that's her. Everyone does not like her. That in light like, vein, in light like, Fiora, and this is another one. Ribbon, ha. That's who it is. You have the same webcam. I think like everyone does. <laughs> it's really nice. My little pony comics are really good. Oh really? Who's the most costly character in League of Legends? Probably Ari. Yeah, Ari. Katarina. Yeah, probably Katarina and Ari. Yep. <laughs> As I think about it. Mm -hmm. Let's crank. Oh my goodness. Oh, really? <laughs> the Vegito things crank me up. Over 9,000 calories in every bite. Jinx has the uh, shark gun. Shark fin. Is it shark fin? I can't remember the name of the gun. <laughs> Two more games of five minute delay. Oh. Uh, overheat opinion on graphic design and animation. Um, it is, I'm just gonna say, if like you're gonna go to school for it. Just be prepared that when you get out, finding a job is really hard. <laughs> Hello, Christina Ramirez. Um, no, I never watched here as a cosplay. Um, I heard interesting things about it, but I don't really ever really care to watch it. I heard, I, I read recently of Yaya Han's, um, one of her posts about it, and how she just wasn't, she didn't like it. <laughs> she didn't like working with them. No, it doesn't shoot sharks, which would be pretty amazing if it did shoot sharks, though. Hello, Vision Clan HD. A shark gun that shoots sharks shooting guns. Yeah. I think I need to start cleaning this tip thing here. It is not burning that well. Yeah. Ooh, it's getting all kicked on. Let's see. My hello, Elijah June. Uh, my favorite anime character. Ooh, I don't know. I have a bunch of them. <laughs> Actually, I think my favorite one, besides you know the Sailor Moon, I like Sailor Mars from Sailor Moon and Sailor Saturn. But I really, really like Lupin the Third. Like, that is probably one of my favorite animes, besides Cowboy Bebop. And Sailor Moon. I just love it. Oh, he's great. And if y'all haven't watched it, you should watch it. But it's really hard to actually find online. Well, I mean, hey, if you want to do graphic design, you should do it. I thought about it at one point, but... I don't think I, I like doing it, but I don't think I could do it like for clients all the time. Be like, I want this. Can you make it for this much? And I'm like, no, try double that price. They're like, but this person in China charges this much for graphic design. Well, then you go to them then. 
Oh yes, vision clan HD. Oh cool. Alright, Angie, I'll see you later. Thanks for coming to stream. Get some sleep. <laughs> Yes, Ryan uh, Briones. Is it Briones? This, yes, I am making the spear for Nidalee's head, uh, spearhead thing. Actually, most of the people in this chat know Drifter as well, so. Well, thank you, Brian Ramos. See, like, okay, I have a lot of friends in graphic design, and I saw one, I watched her struggle so hard to try and keep and find a job, in, like, the last couple years, and it's just rough watching them, like, ugh. She's a really good graphic designer and artist, but it's just hard finding a job, like, that is good and that, you know, you enjoy doing. You don't even know why you're watching this. I don't know either. You can learn some cosplay things and watch me burn craft foam. There is stuff all over this desk now. I'm gonna I have to wipe this down. Okay, Toxic Talk, I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Oh, you watched that video, Damien? That was so long ago. The cougar cosplay? Ugh, that's like a little bit too furry for me. I'm not really, a, I'm not a furry, so it's just a little bit weird. I don't think I can sit in a suit that long. I'll be like really, really sorry, Angel Gomez. I do not. I no habla español. Uh, Ryan, I do actually live stream on Twitch, but I haven't recently. I'll probably just switch to YouTube now. <laughs> Rank am I Patel? Uh, what's her name? Darshan Patel. I do not play ranked league. No, I do not. <laughs> I'm just like no. Still so works for Walmart freelance as well. Yeah, that's what my friend did for a little bit too. Yeah, heartbreaker, those trolls. I was like, nope, can't play league. So toxic. Connections and experience. Yeah, you have to have connections and stuff for graphic design. Like my uh, my cousin was a graphic designer. She actually doesn't do it anymore, I don't think. Or she kind of does freelance now. She didn't like it. Now she does tattoo artists. <laughs> yes, Damien. My, I have a lot of friends in the art field, now that I think about it. My best friend and her husband are, uh, like, they're both artists, and it's just all about connections to get anywhere in the art world. And he'd be pretty good, too, but... Oh, to third, I don't know. Just, I think it's probably because YouTube is, like, better quality stream, and plus... I can put ads on it. I would have to be like sponsored by or whatever a partner with Twitch and I do not ever really think I could get there. Not playing games because I'm not really probably going to play games for a while. Probably off stream but not on stream. Who knows, we'll see. Uh, Tiftar, she is in Singapore. <laughs> the tattoo I have on my thigh, I don't know if you saw it. Hello, Robert Ray, what's up? What is up, Robert? Thanks for coming to the stream. Favorite League of Legends champion. Okay, so y'all are gonna hate me, but um, my favorite champion to play is, uh, I have two of them. It's Garen, and the other one is Teemo. 
Yeah, I like Devo. Coca Cola peanuts. I've heard of it. Like the the customers in my dad's store actually used to do it all the time. I thought it was gross. Is it entering your stuff twice? No, it's not entering it twice. I don't see that tip tart. Oh, you got your bacon dog shirt on. Awesome. I am sorry, Angel Gomez. I do not speak English. I mean, not, I don't yeah, I do speak English. I do not speak Spanish. <laughs> don't understand. What am I burning, Ash Pika? I am burning EVA foam. And you know, the stuff that you see, the interlocking floor mats and stuff. <laughs> Timo is very evil and very I don't think Hemo's cute, honestly. I think Nar is adorable, but Timo, he is a little bastard. But hey, he's really good to play with. Guaranteed you probably will win with him. Yep. No, I don't see it twice. I probably might be doing it on your screen, but it's not on the chat. Okay. <sighs> oh, Brian, yeah. I think it's mostly like an older thing. Like, all the old customers that sat in my dad's store and, like, sat and smoked all the time, they did that. I, but I've never really seen young people really do it. How many hours are you going to take to finish this project? Dennis, go away! <laughs> Dennis, you know how long it takes me to do things. I know who you are. I know where you live! <laughs> hey, Dennis, I'm gonna make you a mod. Just because I can. <laughs> Ah. Rosaria Vampire. Um, no, I didn't haven't had time to actually look at it, but I do need to. All right, Elijah Jones, thanks for coming to watch the stream. I'll see you later. Lucky for you guys, I will probably not be cosplaying as Teemo. I have no intentions of doing sexy Teemo. That's just a little bit meh for me. But I do have a, a idea for another character that I might do. This is a secret. I can't tell y'all. It'll, 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 you'll see it when you see it. I don't know. <laughs> I think y'all can like kind of ban people? I'm not really sure. Um... Brian, I'm not sure, but you know how the weather is in Dallas? It's crazy. Um, it's probably going to be 80 until January, and then it's probably going to snow for like a week, and then that's it. It's not, probably going to snow in like March like it did this past year. That was ridiculous. I almost had more snow than Boston. <laughs> Who wants to be your test subject? Content warming, it's quite perverted. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> volunteer is tribute. I guess you can, I don't know, Tiff Tart, if you, if you try and, like, ban Brian, maybe, I don't, I, I should, like, let you unban him. I don't know. I'm sorry, Brian, if you get banned. This is such a strange shape. Cool. 
Oh, you can't do anything? Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> like, maybe mods don't have anything, can't do anything on, like, YouTube streams. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. It's chat's, it's pretty good in here right now. And it's pretty, like, slow, so nothing's happening. Overheat, are you ever trying gender bend a champion? Yes, I am one day. I'm not sure which one though yet. Was I gonna do one? I was gonna gender bend. Oh, that was never mind. That was a Final Fantasy VI character I was gonna do next. But I, uh, yeah, one day I will do a gender bend one. Oh, wait, I am actually a surprise. Ha ha! Yes, I will. Um, how did I meet Drifter? Actually, Drifter and I went to high school together and we knew each other for since first grade, but he left for a while. And then came back to the same school I was going to. And we went to high school together and didn't start dating until we got to college. But we did not go to the same college. Uh, Darsh Darshan Patel, she, uh, she got blue bar by her name because she's a mod. Oh yes, overheat. Those tornadoes. Luckily, it's just in this area there's... Okay, they usually hit Arlington though. Arlington does get hit by tornadoes, and then like South Fort Worth gets hit all the time. Whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> you didn't notice that. Small amount of viewers, no trolls. Yeah, I like the nice, quiet streams. I just can't keep up with the chat, you know, because I have to be looking down, and it's hard to like look up and then try to do stuff. Get distracted. Yes, Damien, you are mom. Hello, Ace Drago. My gig, uh, I don't know, I'm not really going, but I'm just still cosplaying. Um, Priscera1221. I have already done Mikasa, actually. I need to bring her cosplay back out again. It's so hot to wear, though, like, because it's just all long sleeve and long pants. So when it gets, there's like Anime Con in November here in Dallas, or actually in Fort Worth. So I'm going to do it there. So I don't like burn up. Oh, it's okay, Dip Dark. You can play Lee. True Busy, hello. Welcome to the stream. Surprise pizza and wings delivery. What? I want that. Sounds good. All right, Echo. See you later. Good night. Get some sleep. Have a good day at work tomorrow. Pizza and wings. I don't even know what I'm eating for dinner. <laughs> what is that noise? Oh my gosh, how scary. Official smiley of Jaywood's design channel. I, I, it looks like a really crazy duck. Like, it, I know it's a face going, but I don't know. <laughs> yes, Brian, you should make it to Akon this next year. It is, it is nice. I, I had fun at Akon, even though I got sick and only went one day. Totally gonna try and, like, do more days next year. And I met a few people there, so it's gonna be fun. I got people I know at cons, yay. Eat the dough. <laughs> There's a cap of face? I didn't, where's the cap of face? Oh, yes, home dog. I do like sushi. Actually, I had sushi did I have it yesterday. Yesterday or Friday? I had it on Friday. Oh, it was good. It was actually Kroger sushi, but hey, you know. Trapper UMG Dallas. You should. I've never actually been to UMG Dallas. I, not really my thing. I 
I went to one COD thing. It was like the X Games one. That was, eh, you know. I'm not a fan of watching competitive COD. That's a Kappa face. It just looks like a smiley with like a nose. The PBS face. Oof, stinks up in here. Yeah, that con crud really sucks. Like, I have to remind myself to bring tons of hand sanitizer when I go to a con because, oh goodness, there's so many people and so many people want to take pictures with you and you know, oh goodness, stuff gets spread around. Uh, Darshan and Patel, I was, I s majored in nursing. And I worked in that field for about four years. Right now, not doing anything. So, cosplay stuff. Which is really not much at all. Oof. Pack everything new for evidence. <laughs> Man, I never met anyone like when I was working as a nurse that was like, you know, super nerdy. I had one. She liked online gaming, but she played like the really old ones. She did like World of Warcraft, and I was like, eh, no, I don't play World of Warcraft. I'm sorry. Otherwise, I don't think I really ever met anyone. Like, that'd be really cool if like if I met like another coworker that was a nurse and she did, did cosplay too. But I never did. I did work at one place and there was a lot of younger nurses and stuff that were like close to my age and they were like, oh cool, that's really awesome. And then I switched to another place to work and there was a bunch of older people and they're like, that's weird. <laughs> I'm like, okay, whatever. Then you're not going to be my friends on Facebook. Do not get to see my con pictures. <laughs> Yeah, this is probably a good thing that me and me and Drifter really, really like anime. We just really like it. I mean, I like I grew up on it. I just remember like as I got older, and then like a lot of my friends like stopped watching cartoons, and I'm like, but I'm still watching cartoons. And then your TV shows are really, really boring. I don't want to watch that. I ended up watching like a few. Like, I would say, like, nine cartoon shows, like, Lost. And, um, I watched Smallville for a short time. I don't know. After a little bit, I didn't like it. Uh, they, Ozzy and Boomy are doing pretty good. They're still fat. They're on, their, they're on the diet, so, like, they're hungry all the time. It's really sad. <laughs> they're always whining for food. Yeah, oh gosh, they just don't like diet food. Um, Ozzy will eat it because it's, you know, food. But Boomy, when we put it in the bowl, he'll look at it and be like, Really? You're giving me this again? Hello, Gigi. Thanks for coming to the stream. Alright, Damien. I will see you later. I'm not sure how long I'll be streaming, though. Thanks for stopping by, watching my first stream. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ha, 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 ha. 
Yeah, sometimes it kind of like scares people when you start like, you're like, oh my gosh, a fellow nerd like me. And then it's kind of like, uh, let me just hold back a little bit. They might be weirded out by my nerdiness. I think it was kind of like that when I first met Drifter. Or started talking to him, I knew him forever, but. Five inches taller than you. Yeah, it's always kind of funny, because, like, well, Drifter's super taller than me, but it's always kind of funny to find a guy that's, like, shorter than me, because I'm really short. Like, 5'3", short. It's always actually kind of weird finding other people that are shorter than me, too. So I'm like, whoa, you can be shorter <laughs> and, men and a grown adult. That's crazy. Especially, like, when I went to Japan. <gasps> it's Boomy. Hey, Boomy. I don't know if y'all can see him. Probably can't. He's on the f he's a down here. Boomy. Where is he? I don't know. I just think you can see his tail. Oh look, there's his head. There you can see him. Oh, Boomy. Here's his nose. Hello, Foxtrot seven four two. Oh, why does she need chicken broth on her food? We, I thought, we only use, like, really diluted chicken broth, like, on rice whenever they get sick, and I do that. Why are you under the thing? People want to see you. Oh, you're, oh, Gigi, oh, hey, my channel, oh, I just started it. I had an intro I posted just a couple of days ago, and it was talking about, I'm trying to do, like, a, a crafting cosplay channel. I post like tutorials on like crafts that people can do. Simple stuff. Well maybe simple stuff, I don't know. But uh and then you know live stream either doing crafts or cosplay. Mostly probably doing live stream cosplay. That way it will motivate me to continuously work on it because I get so distracted by the internet and I'm like oh look the internet's here. I will work on this a little, little bit later and then I ne never get it done and then it's like the day before con, I'm like, shit, I need to do stuff. 15 years old, oh, it's an old puppy. Well, where'd you go? Mm. That boomy ear. Yes, boomy is just pooting around. He's probably, yeah, it's probably because it's close to their time to eat and they want something to eat. Oh my gosh, Overheat, are you serious? You lived on McCart Street. You know, when we first moved here, we got a house close, actually it was off of there. Was it off of there? It was like really close to it. <laughs> oh, I remember that part. We lived in South Fort Worth for about six months. It's not a bad area. Um. I mean, you know, moving to a big city from Mississippi, it's going to be like, everything's going to be great because there's just so many places to shop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know, Gigi. I mean, like, I've been on and off. It's a good YouTube channel. Oof. Um, I don't really have advice for that because I don't really think mine's that great. I guess just, you know, have like a... Just figure out what audience you're going for first. Who do you want your who you, or who's the main people you want to see your videos? Like mine's crafters. I want people who are crafty to see my stuff or are interested in making stuff. For cosplayers. So that's the that's the first main thing to do is to figure out who you want to watch who who you want to watch your stuff. Yeah. You just made some flan. Mm, that sounds good. Oh, all y'all people living all around this DFW area. Oh no, Foxtrot. Oh, who's gonna take care of her? That's sad. Oh, it's kind of like bring her to Japan with you.
You want crafters gamers? Oh. Um, I have to say though, if you are a new YouTuber and if you want to actually um post gaming content and actually monetize it, you have to go through a network. Like um like Machinima or something to get any like monetization off of it. But if you just want to post videos, then you can um, just post them, but you can't like claim like ad stuff on it. And yeah. Heartbreaker, I don't know why you did that. That's a terrible decision. I don't think I've eaten those two things in like forever. I don't think, I don't even know if my body could like process it anymore. Taco Bell. It's great and all, but no, oh, I can't eat it. it Make me sick. And there's like one right down the street. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. Flanta sea flan. <laughs> no problem, Gigi. It's I'm trying to help. I'm just not very good. Because I'm not really even sure what I'm doing right now. Because, like, I think I had actual all my Destiny gameplay that I had on my channel. If you, some of y'all might remember, I actually had to delete it because I started to monetize my video, my one video that I have right now. So, yeah, because I'm not part of a network, I can't technically post any gaming stuff. So, but if I want to do the gaming later, I'll probably just stream it through Twitch. Make it easier. Oh, okay, Foxtrot. Okay, well, that's good. I'm glad that you're taking care of her for him. Still really sad, though. Maybe you can, like, do Skype calls and the dog can see him. That'd be so cute. Writing people on your death note. <laughs> oh, hello, Destroyer352. Oh my gosh, that would be hilarious if you were sitting on your toilet on the phone. Hilarious and bad at the same time. <laughs> I'm almost done! Ah! There's one little bit of lime left. And then I'll just go clean it up. Alright, Gigi. Thanks for stopping by and watching the stream. Have a good night. Alright guys, this is finished. We're here. Ha 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 ha. Ta da. Ooh. Here is one side. Ooh. Fancy. It's actually really nice. <laughs> GGG. I'm all for doing uh, nicknames to shorten it. Cool. All right. Order drifter or make some food for you. Oh, Australian Shepherd Blue Eulers. Oh, those are so cute. Those are the ones that have like that one crazy color eye and one dark one, right? Those are so cute. Okay, so that's done. Um, turn this off before I burn something. Put that there. And dust this stuff off, or it's gonna stick everywhere. I need to get a better chair, guys. I actually have my office chair like over there, but it's so big. It's it's Drifter's old chair. I just can't. It, it barely fits in this space. No, it's not the end of the stream yet. Let's clean it up. I have a whole pile of stuff behind me. Oopsie, that's not good. But it will be end of the stream soon because I'm really hungry. 
And either I'm going to cook or we're going to go find food before everything closes because it's Sunday. Wah. Okay, something easy for me to do. <laughs> I got feathers! And Nilly has feathers like on her hair and her spear. These are from Joann's. Aren't they cool? I was like, these are pretty fancy. How to shape feathers. Strip away one side of feather. Strip half a feather and curl one side. Make zigzag edge by cutting diagonally outward. I don't need to shape them. I'm just coloring them. So I need two of these for the hair. That one blows. Nope. These are like all like one side. Look, it's like one side. Where did the other side go? So I get for a pack of $2.50 feathers. Oh my goodness. I guess they're all like that. I guess they're all like the little wing ones. Nope, not that one. I guess I just have to pick the best then. Nope. 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 Hmm. It's definitely that one. And then probably that one. Hey, Dead Nazgul, what's up? Thanks for coming to the stream. We've already finished the, well, I'm not finished. I'm finished carving. I have to paint it and then put like, like foam strips to cover that up. Takes things too serious, especially games. Ah, uh, I don't know. I didn't really ever talk with people like that. <laughs> we had a guy like that in art grade and oh goodness, poor kid. Okay. Okay, so Nilly's feathers have like striping on them. Punch him in the nuts. I don't know about that heartbreaker. It probably went in well. Not for that guy or the person punching him in the nuts. Stripey feathers. Stripey, stripey, stripey. So I have some warm gray and black, because it's black on this end here, but nah, I think I'm just going to go with the gray. So I'll have both. Okay. I haven't dealt with feathers in a long time. Last time I used feathers, I think I made my wedding headdress thing. That was fun, actually, but extremely labor intensive. So I'm going to straighten them out. Oh, that one's got such a short little oh, poo. Oh, let me find another one. Let me just get one that's better. Yeah, that one's interesting looking. Quit having combos in his presence. Gave him the wrong answer and he called it. Oh my gosh. Oh no, that's one of those people. That's kind of sad. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's just one of those people that you want to like tell like, dude, that's just not cool to do, but he would just take it too seriously anyway. I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't know. Do not know what to tell you. I'm sorry. I can see why birds spend so much time, like, preening themselves. This is, like, not easy to keep together. Poor things. Alright. So, I'm going to use Prismacolor markers to color them. But first, I'm going to test it on the scrap one. So I don't, like, mess it up. Because... That will happen. Who is thanks? This is like full of stronger than Sharpies. Cool. 
Cool. It actually turns out pretty nice. Okay. Uh, picture, picture, picture. I need a picture to look at. <laughs> That'd be really funny. How do I think the world will look in 60 years? Uh, terrible, actually. We are doing a horrible job at keeping our environment anywhere close to being great. Neato. Let me use a fine tip. Uh, Nathan Brown, yes, maybe. Shh, quiet. I didn't just start working on it. Don't. I'm the slowest late cosplay maker ever. Like once I start working on it, it goes by pretty quick. It's just getting me to actually start because it takes. I, I actually take a long time to actually like uh, research everything. So yeah, I gotta research on how to do it and everything, and where I can find all the stuff. It takes me actually just gathering everything is probably the hardest part because I'm trying to find the best deal. How much experience do I have on cosplay? Um, honestly, for me, I, I say I am always still learning. I am experienced in making stuff like other stuff, so I relate that to cosplay. Like, I'm like a moderate level sewer. Um, I can sculpt stuff pretty well. Uh, I can paint pretty decently. So. Uh, if I can do those things, I guess applying cosplay would be pretty easy. <laughs> As a business, uh, uh, probably just within this last year. I pretty much started it this year. Hello, FPS Overlord. I don't know what Brad's doing. He's in the other room. He's probably just playing uh, the beta and tries probably getting gameplay and fun stuff like that. Oh, it's okay, did that school. Your English is fine. Um, yeah. I I cosplay I started cosplaying in two thousand six. Like in like the f my very last semester of high school. It was mostly just actually for school. I'd never been to a convention before that. And after that in college I went to a convention for the first time with a bunch of friends. Actually one friend. So that was fun. And then I just did a little bit of cosplay from there. And then after I started nursing school, I quit cosplaying because I was just way too busy for it. Okay. Black paper to put this on. Holy 
Labor Day ads. Uh -huh. What is this Office Max? Look at all these printers for sale. Holy crap. <laughs> yes. I'm actually, it only needs like four feathers in her cosplay, so I'm just coloring them. Oh no, my tumbly is a grumbly. Oh, this some almost food times. Feeling faint, need sugar. Hiccup. Sorry. You're gonna duel? Where do you duel? Is this like an online thing that you can duel? And I haven't eaten dinner yet. That's probably, yeah, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten money foods. Very late dinner eaters in this house. All of our close friends are always baffled by this decision of late dinner eating hours. To me, they're normal, but you know, whatever. Oh, a new console you have a game? Cool. Neat. One feather den. Wow. The anti-meta whatever deck. I can't read. Yes, I, I've seen you make very multiple posts on it. I'm just not sure exactly what you're talking about. Nope, not that feather. This one. Favorite mall? Oh man, I did like the Healer Mall. It was fun. I liked it. Um, they have a new Red Robins there now, didn't they? Because like when we left, they were just still building it. Man, Red Robins sounds so good right now. My favorite mall actually right now. Let me think. I don't really have a favorite favorite mall. I just like IKEA. <laughs> 
I like Ikea. Stonebriar's not bad. Um, the one up in Frisco. Will have been some fancy stuff. Galleria is okay. Stuff is too expensive for me. I cannot. I just don't want to buy stuff that expensive. Well, Grand Plaza Mall. I don't even. Where is that one? I've never heard of that one. and the feathers are not giving me a good coloring surface. There, the fine tip does better. There we go. <laughs> Um, the weather's been a little, I can tell it's cooling down, because once it gets to like the end of April, uh, August, it's mid to low 90s. That's cool for here. <laughs> hmm, it's always hard to find good malls with food. Um, there's one near here, the Collin Creek Mall. That's the saddest mall ever. Uh... That poor mall. When we first got here and we found that mall, we're like, oh, look, a mall that's closed. This is awesome. And everyone's like, no, nah, that mall is like ghetto as anything. And I was like, really? And we, every time I go back, something's always closed. And it's really sad. And I'm like, that mall is going to go, it's going to disappear in like a year or two at the rate it goes. I don't even really go there very often. It's kind of sad. Yule and Ma did have really good food though. They had a Greek place in there and I love it. Chick-fil-A. Who doesn't like Chick-fil-A? Then again, you know. Six Flags Mall? Oh, oh, that's right. That's the one in Arlington that has just the outlet Dillard's in there. There's nothing in there. It's kind of creepy. I just go, I haven't been there in like a year or two, but I go there for the Dillard's because it's like super cheap stuff. And me and my sister-in-law like to go dig through all stuff. Oh, that mall. The Collin Creek Mall was, trying, was, was at one point trying really hard to stay a mall, like a legit mall, but recently I think they, I think I heard about it, like they were going to close it down, but all the end stores, like the Sears and the JCPenney's are going to stay open and stuff, Macy's, I don't know, I really don't. Hello Volcanic Mac, what's up? Thanks for coming to the stream. Just over here working on stuff. I'm coloring a feather. I'm actually out of the shot. There you go. Who gets noticed more, Ozzy or Drifter? Hmm, actually Drifter, but Ozzy has been noticed once or twice when we bring him to like PetSmart. One person was like, hey, saw Ozzy and then looked at Drifter and was like, are you a Drifter? And it is always kind of creepy when people recognize us out there. But no, everyone's been pretty nice. It's pretty cool. We haven't had any like weird people. We always get like people who are like, are you on the inter it's like they look at they look at Drifter and they're like, Are you from the internet? And I'm like, wow. It just cracks me up how to ask it. Well yes, I was born and raised from the internet. Hey, 
Hey, Deathflash, what's up? Thanks for coming to the stream. What started my interest in cosplay? Well, I was a big nerd in high school, and I always spent most of my, like, weekends and Friday nights, like, online, because I didn't really go out. So I stayed online, and I had internet friends, and we always drew on the, uh, the Okeki boards, which is kind of like, you know, like the online Photoshop kind of things, Java applet things. So we would do that, and write fan fictions, because we're big nerds. And, um, I remember we would always find pictures of, like, characters we would like, but they were, like, you know, cosplay ones. And I really wasn't, I was like, wow, this is cool. People would dress up and they look just like them. This is awesome. So I looked into that. And then I got really big into Final Fantasy VII. And so my first cosplay was, like, when Advent Children was coming out, that Advent, Final Fantasy Advent Children movie. And I cosplayed as the Advent Children Tifa, Tifa, or whatever. And and that's where I got started. I was like, I just I was like, oh, cool! I can I can dress up as characters, and apparently other people do it, so it's not weird. Yay! Am my internet famous? <laughs> well, Drifter's internet famous. I'll see you later, Nathan. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by the stream. I am not internet famous. No one recognizes me, which is great. I do not like to be recognized. It's probably because I look different, like, all the time. I have either glass. I look completely different with and without glasses, too. So, yeah. So, a lot of people don't really recognize me. And my hair changes all the time, and I wear, like, really different styles of clothing. I'm a master of disguise. Sometimes I feel punk. Sometimes I feel real preppy. Sometimes I feel real cutesy. Depends on my mood, so I dress really different. Second feather. Wow. Foof, foof, foof. Now for the big ones. These are awesome. These are really, really cool. I probably could dye these, but you know, whatever. It's hard to get that striping on there. That one doesn't have solid enough feather stripes. Prismacolor markers are the awesomest and most expensive. Jeez, these things are just pricey. I don't know, Copic markers are pretty pricey too. If any of you out there do art, you would know that these markers are the cheapest thing in the universe. Oh, you should do a Walt Deller cosplay from Fallout. I did, uh, well, back in the day, Drifter decided he wanted to do a live action Fallout movie, like short film. So we went out to the desert in South California and tried to film it, except he got heat exhaustion. So fun times. But it was a Fallout one, so we had all this, like, Fallout gear in the back of the trunk, and, like, it, it was really cool. We had Pit Boy, we had, um, all the gear and stuff. And I made a bunch of it too, so that was really fun. So yeah, I, apparently I was a character in that film too. I was like, the bad guy. Ha! Ha! I was a villain. I think I had a really racist, like, very stereotypical, uh, name. Was I Red China? Probably. <laughs> it was just hilarious. Fun times, except it was way too hot to go in August. And bad idea, especially when you're not used to that kind of heat of like 120 degrees out in the Salton Sea. Don't do that, kids. It's not smart. Even drinking all the water didn't help. Oh, the hospital story. Ah, yes. People know about this one. This is the infamous hospital story. Oh, gosh. I remember it all too well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious to see Fallout 4. It looks really good. I want to play the Vault Dweller game, but I know my phone would just die. Like, it can barely handle things. Like, that poor Samsung. It's supposed to be like the newest thing, but whatever. It sucks. It freezes and lags, and I always run out of space, so I have to delete all my pictures all the time. 
probably should set up a cloud thing, but I actually I do have a cloud thing. It's set up through my Google Drive. Hello, David. What is up? Thanks for coming to the stream. I'm just coloring feathers here. Ooh, my chest hurt. Ow. Uh, overheat. No, I have actually never really seen seen a tornado. No, I haven't. Um, never been in a tornado, really. I've been close to one that hit near where I live, but otherwise, no, I've never really, like, been to one. I would rather not. Like, living in Mississippi, they hit all the time, too. They're really, really big into their tornado warnings, so if it goes off, you better go, because that means they saw one. Camping in the desert, that's cool. So this is like black color. Should I do the black color one? I don't know, we'll see. When the first, when the, when the Vault Dweller game came out, I was really sad because it was only for like, um, what's it called? Apple. Like iPhones and stuff. And I was like, no, I want to play it. And now it's finally out for Android. I'm like, oh man, I don't know. I want to play it. I might download it. I might, I don't know, does it work on a tablet? I might have to do that. Because I have a Samsung Galaxy tablet. Neato. What desert? Herbing a couple years ago? Oh gosh, that's scary. Tornadoes are scary stuff, man. It was funny, like in uh, Mississippi, we have a lot of uh, foreign students that were attending the college that Drifter went to, and a tornado hit, or was like pretty much hit on campus and it touched down so everyone heard the sirens and just went and hid so the asian kids like the ones from china did not even know what it was what was going on everyone else was freaking out they're just like oh what's going on why is everyone freaking out i don't know maybe it's a giant tornado so blow everyone away That's right, Oklahoma does have it pretty bad. There's noises out there. <laughs> Ooh, this is turning out pretty cool looking. Break out my Sarah Palin voice. Yeah. Eh? Don't you know? Ooh. Stuff for Android always comes out later. It's really sad. Mm -hmm. The curve of this feather is making this coloring difficult. After I get done with these feathers, I'll probably have to stop the stream because I am starving. As long as you access the Play Store. Yeah, I can access it. Okay, cool. I wish I had some help with the cosplay too, Tiff Turd. 
I always need some I always like crafting with people like when my best friend came just like a week or so ago we just sat and we just crafted with each other while we watched Food Network and HGTV it was just the best thing ever I'm just such a loser I'm like oh, let's go out nah I like to sit and just craft in my house Everyone just died. Oh no, it's terrible. That's what probably would happen to me. Be like, oh no, monsters broke into your vault and you're dead. Or you're running out of food, shit. Happiness is like 86%. So like, what are you supposed to keep it at? I know you gotta probably have to keep it pretty high or people like revolt and like kill each other or something crazy like that. Oh, that's right. Scrapbook with friends and watch HGTV. I love HGTV, guys. Like, it's so funny. People are like, you know, my favorite celebrity. I have my celebrities come from Food Network and HGTV. Coolest celebrities ever. Like, I mean, come on. They tweet me back. It's really cool. <laughs> Other celebrities do not do that. Come on, the Property Bros. They're my favorite. I love the Property Brothers. I hope they see the stream. <laughs> Secret man crush. Nope, dinner hasn't been done yet. And I've been sitting here, and Drifter doesn't do dinner. I guess we could like microwave, but I don't think I have any. I think I have spaghetti sauce in the freezer. Did I, did I make some? I can't remember if I have any left. Maybe I'll do that. It's like frozen though. Decent's like 76%. So it's done, that's why you only use apple. <laughs> yeah, I heard it's easier to make it for the apple store. I think it's just, that's how it's like for um, Drifter's app too, it's just apple, I think. <gasps> oh my! There's a dog here. Umi! Umi! You can't hear me. Oh my goodness. Hey! There he goes, bye bye. <laughs> Street making food. Oh gosh, and y'all have to see my kitchen, and it's like really messy down there. It'd be interesting to stream cooking. I wouldn't mind, it's just. I don't know. Just too low, people won't work right, and production slows down, and then people get sick and can die if not tended. Hmm. Cool. I might have to do that. I always kind of like games like that because I used to play, um, what's that game? Masters of Magic. If any of you are old enough to know that game, then you're old. It's on the PC. It's this old ROM game. And, um, you know, you had, it's like Civ Civilization except with like mythical creatures like elf dark elf and stuff so yeah my city's always trying to revolt and yeah halt production i'm like oh my gosh everyone's dying of a plague now we'll die. then you go take other over other people's cities and like fight them with your magical creatures um once a hey, uh, Drew Smith, I don't know if I noticed you were here. Hello. Um, once you like see him for a while, you do notice a difference because Boomy is bigger. He's like just physically bigger than Ozzy, and Ozzy has darker coloring on him. Boomy's more like more orange. Hmm. 
my favorite food oh gosh they're all bad I love fried chicken I love fried rice but mostly fried chicken and mac and cheese and barbecue anything that's southern comfort food mm -hmm. all right Brian thanks for coming to the stream thanks for watching see you later have a good night I like all the unhealthy stuff. Let me see. What else do I like? I like chicken nuggets. I like chicken nuggets. I'm like a small child. I just eat healthy because, you know, I'm supposed to or something. You know? Yeah. Cosplay really sucks. You gotta look good for cosplay. So you gotta, like, work out and eat right. Uh, the struggles. And then like cons, it's like the worst time to stay healthy because no one eats healthy at conventions. No one. Everything is like junk food. Oh man, Drew, we always like, okay, when is it, when is the state fair? We always miss it. I think last year I missed it because I had to like work. But I, I really, really want to go so I can eat all the giant fried stuff. You see the giant Texas, like, what's his name? Statue thing. What's his name? He even burned one year, didn't he? <laughs> elephant ears are the bomb. Are you talking about, like, the little mush, the fungus mushroom elephant ears? They're, like, wavy. Because that's all I know. Hello, or good night, Clayton Winters. Last week in September. Hmm, okay, I have to go look it up and see when it is. Dough fried treat covered in sugar and cinnamon. Ooh, that sounds really good. Oh, yes, I do like frog legs too. Yum. Third weekend in October. Sometime. It's sometime in the fall. Okay, but I have to keep that in mind so I can go this year. Drag all my friends along. Be like, I want to see this. I've been in Texas this long and I haven't been. I want to try like what's that stuff? I love funnel cake. Funnel cake's like my favorite fair food. Um, they have giant turkey legs. I like those too. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, so that one's done. Let that dry, and I'll fluff it back out. <sighs> this one should be fun to color. Look at this stuff. There's like fuzzy stuff all over that. 
Ooh, 30. Okay. Speed coloring. Activate. I'm gonna figure out what I want to eat tonight. Something healthy. Uh, I have chicken legs. Am I retired? Like, requires time to cook. Uh, effort. I don't like effort. No, there's food all over the screen. No. State Fair is that F Fletcher's Corny Dog. Oh, I like corn dogs. It's always nice to find a nice corn dog. Nothing like a good hot dog, too. You know how hard it is to find a good hot dog? That's that place in Austin, if y'all been. And, like, they have um, Frank's. The Frank's. They make their own hot dogs. Oh, God, it's so good. Y'all need to go the next time you go to Austin. It's downtown. It's always packed. So, just, yeah, it's always going to be a wait. So, was a player just. Oh. Oh my, overheat. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That's like kind of awkward. It's like, oh look, I have some children. I these little splendly bits. Oh god, now they're all getting soaked. And all nasty looking. New York. You know, I actually haven't been to New York before. We've been to Boston, you know, for like PAX East and stuff, but we have not been to New York and we want should go probably one day. San Antonio is really nice. Very fancy down there, the river walk and such. I haven't been down to San Antonio in a long time though. We were supposed to go for Pack South this year, but then we got sick, so yeah. Oh, yeah, one of my friends lives in San Antonio too. Or near it. That looks like strangly looking. Pack South, I believe. Well, this past year, it was the first year, so it was on MLK weekend, Martin Luther King weekend in January. Like it was like January twenty fifth something that weekend. So I don't know if they're gonna have it there like again there this year or they're gonna change the location. You know, being the first year packs, there wasn't as much. There was no big game or like companies or anything there really, because they're all going to East. But hopefully, it get bigger. I had a big turnout of people. I'm kind of actually a little bit wonder why they don't have it in Dallas. I mean, it's near a major airport because like people that fly into San Antonio can't. They actually have to fly into Austin and then go over, and it's just kind of like a effort. So much trouble. Hey, we went to a San Antonio field trip one time. Where was that? No, that was for my choir trip back in junior high. That was fun too. We had a choir competition we drove all the way down for with our choir. Super fun. I think that was my first time in San Antonio. Let's see here. Color, 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 color. C 
See, that's what I was saying. Like, it, like, yeah, that's, you're right, Drew. It needs to happen at Dallas Convention Center because it's like really close to the airport and everything is so much easier for people to travel in, into. Because there's always direct flights just straight to Dallas. Because there's not really that many. Because people, I, yeah, tons of people. I remember them posting pictures of the layover at the DFW airport, and I was like, wow, did the layover here just flying from like wherever? It's just, it's just silly. I don't know. I heard that the Dallas Convention Center is not that big. I don't know. I've never been there before, but I know the San Antonio one. They said it was really it's big and it's nice because it's near the Riverwalk. But I don't know. I don't know what they're going for. That was just really odd to have it in in San Antonio. Hello, mega awesome one. What's up? I haven't seen you in here. <laughs> Hello, Petrovsk. How do you do what you Well, thanks. <laughs> Almost got the big stripes done. I got one more on this side, and then, and then I go to the other side, and I should be done with this, and I'll work on a little bit more, but that will be off stream though, unfortunately, people. Really? I didn't. I've actually never been to the convention center in Fort Worth. But yeah, Fort Worth does need some more conventions. It's, it have a nice downtown. Three blocks right on the edge of downtown Dallas. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I kind of wish they had more advertising or something. I would like to go to a lot of these things. I have no idea, like, that they're going on. Um, but yeah, there's this, um anime convention in Fort Worth in November. It's like Anime North Texas, I think. They have a Facebook group and I had to look it up. But it's in November and I am going to that one. Most likely. Because I've, like, besides PAX East, I've never really gone to a convention that's in the, um, in the, in the cold time of the month. Cause, Lord, I sweat like crazy. Like, I know that summer is con season, but you have y'all just have no idea how easily I sweat. It's like right now, if I'm thinking about it, I'm getting hot. Great, bad. I'm gonna start sweating in like five seconds. Hello, yes, I haven't been in here, but I was wondering. Red dot mint on the new YouTube update for mobile. Oh, okay, cool, neat. Just kind of happened to just randomly come in. That's cool. I don't know how it shows up on like the uh, YouTube like events and stuff. I wonder. Oops. Oh, I'm getting ink all over myself. Fab. Mostly for church. Huh. I really want to go see more like concerts here in Dallas. Like I know a bunch of people stop by in Dallas. It's like the craziest thing to live in a city where people actually stop and do concerts here. Cause living in Mississippi, no one stopped. We had to drive all the way to like New Orleans or like Florida for like concerts. I look blue. One time me and my friend drove all the way from south, like Biloxi, Mississippi, all the way to like Pensacola, Florida to go see the Goo Goo Dolls. Oh, good times. That trip was crazy. Oh, fun that. We almost died. <laughs> it was crazy. Like literally, we almost like died. We hydroplaned off the road into a ditch. 
and somehow still use the same car to drive there. And we made it, and then made it back. I don't even know. We were very lucky. All right, Death Flash, thanks for coming to watch the stream. Have a good night. Yes, uh, Drew, the, um, I went to the fan, the Comic Con fan days in February, and it happened at the Irving Convention Center. Y'all need better parking. <laughs> the parking was a little horrendous. It was nice though, it wasn't bad. It was a lot of people, but it didn't really feel like it was overly crowded. But then again, I think we went on a Sunday. Did we go on a Saturday? I can't remember. No, I think we went on Saturday. That was the convention I went as Mikasa from Attack on Titan. I didn't really get photos because my entire 3D maneuvering gear fell apart. Right as I was putting it on. That was so sad. Garth Brooks show. Oh, cool. Oh, man. Let me think. There's a show, I think, going on that someone I like. Oh, yeah. That violinist on YouTube. Um, Taylor Davis, I think, is her name. I can't remember. My brain's dead. But she's doing a show here in Dallas, and I really want to go see her. I think I might go get the tickets. She's super fun. I want to see, like, a symphony orchestra, like, you know, like a Final Fantasy video game one. Always wanted to go see one. Really, really, really like video game music. Orchestra versions of it. is done blah blah hooray where's my top there we go all right so i think i have her feathers done i am going to go plasti dip spray the spear there's the feathers so yeah for those that didn't see this wow we built it up there we go Ta -da. i'm gonna go seal this with plasti dip and then um, primer and then paint it. I don't know if I'm going to spray paint. Probably spray paint it. It's so much faster. Uh, oh, movie guy. I should look at their seasons. Yes. <laughs> yes, but no. That should be it for today's stream. Y'all got to see just a few things. Hopefully next stream I'll have a lot more to do. Maybe it might be in the craft room and you get to actually see my sewing machine and stuff. Oh. All right, so I thank you for everyone that came to watch the stream. I really had a fun time for my first YouTube stream, and I hope to do a lot more in the future. So I will see you guys sometime next week for another stream, and I hope you all have a very good night. Bye!